if-else statements are the bread and butter of programming. If statements contain a logical, which, as we established earlier, is just a true-false statement. If said logical is true, then the code that follows the if statement executes. Think, if it's raining outside, then I'll take an umbrella. If raining outside, take umbrella. Note that you don't have to test whether a logical is true or not by asking raining outside equals equals true. You can just write raining outside and it returns true or false. Else queues up the code that executes if the if statement is false, i.e. if it's raining outside, I'll take an umbrella. Else, I'll take my sunglasses. If raining outside, take umbrella. Else, take sunglasses. But you don't have to put an else statement. Else statements are only necessary if there's a secondary step, something you want to do if the if statement isn't true. But what if you want to test another logical immediately after? Say, if it's raining outside, I'll take an umbrella. But if the sun's out, then I'll take my sunglasses. Else, I'll do nothing. Then you want to use the keyword else if. Else if, else if, the point is it's one word. So the code would look like this. If raining outside, take umbrella. Else if, sunny outside, take sunglasses. It's really important that you end your if-else statements with the keyword end, so the computer knows that your code is finished. Nine times out of ten, MATLAB will do this for you, but it's a good thing to keep in mind.